When I joined the Redeemed Descent Church of God, with all humility, I was the most educated. I was a lecturer in the university. My father in the Lord, God bless his memory forever. He didn't go to school, but he knew the Bible offered. And the Almighty God told me, with all your PhD, you are to be under the authority of this man. I thank God today that I surrendered, that I, happened, I agreed to be under his authority. It is because I was under the authority of that great man that today, when I command the demons, they obey. And I'm using that authority, which I gained by being under authority, to command that every demand that followed you here tonight will not go back with you. <laughs> now, why must you learn to be under authority to exercise dominion? Because your enemy does not fear you, but they will fear the one backing you. In Acts of the Apostles, chapter 19, from verse 11 to 17, Acts 19, from verse 11 to 17, the Bible says, when some people saw Paul casting out demons by sending his handkerchiefs, they said, ah, he was using the name of Jesus, let's go and do the same thing. They saw a madman and said, in the name of Jesus that Paul preaches, get out of this man. The demon said, I know Jesus. I know Paul. Who are you? Who is the one backing you? You know the rest of the story. The demon beat them, tore their clothes, and they ran. The, the demon was saying, the reason if Paul sent an handkerchief here, I will run. It's not because of Paul, but because of the one under whose authority he's operating. The problem with many of us Christians is we are too independent. If you want to really understand God, God expects you to be under authority. Do I hear amen from someone?